Hey there, I'm Matt, and I thought I'd do a quick look at another product that is uh, integration with Olama. So a few weeks back, I did a quick look at a product called Idea Generator. It was something I saw that day. I thought, hey, maybe I can create a new series where I just look at a product really quickly and then give you my thoughts about that product without planning too much, definitely not creating a script, just kind of off the cuff, looking at it and telling you what I think. So I'm gonna do that again using what I've found recently. So if you go to the Olama webpage and then click on GitHub, scroll all the way down, you'll see this list of community integrations. And there's a lot of them here. And there's a, there are no particular order. And so I've got my own version of this web page, and then we can click on annotate list. And this is a list of those same integrations for Olama, but I've sorted them based on what was what most recently had a release. And so Lobe Chat was the most recent release amongst all of the integrations for Olama. I think they're actually split up by web and desktop, terminal, package managers, and so forth. But one of the videos, I, I actually did a quick look at one of the products here last week. And somehow between recording it and getting it over to my machine to do a quick edit, I deleted it first. I don't know why I did that, but I thought I'd do it again. So this one's a little bit different because I've kind of practiced it a little bit. I already looked at the product, but the general idea for this series is you're looking at it the same time I'm looking at it and we're just kind of going through it together. So if we look at the link for Holama, we go to this GitHub page and I can see it's written in, it's an Electron app. Minimal web UI. It's got a download for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Zoom that in a bit. Mac, Windows, and Linux. You can host it with Docker, it looks like. But I've gone ahead and downloaded the most recent release, this release, which was updated 18 hours ago. You can see that it builds releases for Linux and Mac, uh, ARM64 and x64, and then Windows. So I've already done that, and here it is. So we can see the application is split up into four main sections, I guess, on the left side. There's sessions, knowledge, settings, and MOTD, message of the day. So you can take a look at the message of the day and see what's been updated more recently for the product. I see there's a desktop app. Some of this we've seen in previous versions, my, the version I looked at a week ago, some of this stuff was there, but as more gets added, he's basically updating uh, this page. Kind of a nice, here is the state of the app right now. Looks like last time I looked, it was just available in English and Spanish, but now it's also available in Turkish and Japanese. But let's go over to sessions and create a new session. So when I create a session, I can first choose the model. And the models listed are all the models that are installed on my machine. So it does an Olama LS. And it shows, lists all the available models, which is great. And what happens if I do a, uh, just type in Olama. Looks like it's um, filtering down the list. And I want Llama 3.2 latest. And let's see, what is this? This is the chat interface versus ah, settings. So I can change the system prompt, but I can also change all the options for the model, which is pretty nice. It's also a nice interface for this. It might be nice for it to explain what these things are, like TFSZ. Huh, I wonder what that is. Maybe I 
should uh, just watch the video I made about what the, all these options mean. Click on stop sequence, um, mirrors.eta, all the different options. I can uh, uh, modify them here. Change the temperature. Uh, temperature, I'm sure, is in here somewhere. So I don't see it now. Oh, there it is. Temperature, uh, set it to whatever I like. What happens if I increase this? Just keep letting me increase. Okay, so it stops at two, which is interesting because sometimes, depending on the documentation you look at, you'll see the temperature is a floating point number with a range of zero to one, or zero to two, or zero to five, or zero to any, well, or any number works. And I've actually chosen temperatures of three, and it definitely performs differently than two in most models. So it's interesting that it stops at two. Can I put in three? Oh, it looks like I can put in three. Okay, so I'm gonna just leave it at 0 0.8, because that was the, kind of the default. I can set my context size. That's really nice. So I don't have to go into the model file to set that. I can set that right here. And I know for Llama 3.2, the maximum context size is 128K. Um, but I know that my machine went 64 gigs. Uh, maybe I could fit most of that, but maybe I only need, uh, let's say I need 8140, what is 8,008K? I don't know, I, I think it's like 8142 or 8146, somewhere in there. Uh, and so that's nice that we can set that. Um, num GPU and main GPU, that is interesting. I didn't think that option was available for me on Mac, but rather just on Windows or Windows and Linux. So it's interesting that I can change that here, probably just get ignored. Um, and it's got a bunch of other options, which again, I some of these I think are only available on, if you've got an NVIDIA card, rather than on Mac where I am. So it makes sense if these would update depending on which platform you're using. And then I can just ask anything, uh, why? is the sky, sky blue. And it responds in a you know, nice, usual way. One thing that we often see with some of these UIs is once it, once it starts scrolling below, like below the fold, it stops until the whole thing is done and then catches up. Um, but it looked like it was scrolling as we go along. It wasn't that much, but um, uh, see, what else can we do here? So anyway, that's pretty interesting. One thing you might have noticed in the settings is system prompt, it defaults to knowledge, or it's, it's an option for knowledge, which is kind of confusing. In fact, the first time I looked at this, I was over here on the left side, I saw this knowledge and I was confused about what it meant. These are three knowledge settings that I've set. It turns out what knowledge means in this case is uh, a system prompt. And you are setting a system prompt for the model that says, you know, here is what you know. And so I create, created two system prompts. One is you're a scientist working at CERN in Europe. You understand particle physics at different levels. You can explain it to a kindergartner all the way up to the postdoc who's coming in with the next amazing theory. And then I also created a real estate agent. Uh, you know, so setting the knowledge set of the model so that it can respond accordingly. It would be nice if it provided a few knowledge presets rather than you having to come up with it yourself. Uh, maybe integrating fabric with this would be a neat idea so that you've got those presets already filled in. And also having, by having those presets in there, you'd have an idea as a new user, what is this for? Because at first I thought this was a rag setup. Turns out it doesn't know anything about rag. 
It doesn't have support for RAG. It doesn't have support for web searching. This is just a simple UI that I can ask a question to and it'll answer. And then settings. For settings we have, we can say, uh, do an automatic check for updates. I'm check for it now. I'm on the latest version. Oh, I've got a release history now. That's nice. I don't think last time I looked it had that release history. It just links me to GitHub, which is fine. And uh, then I have, I can set my server settings. So where is my Olama server? What are the available models? Cool. And then I can autom I, I can pull a model. So if I know the um, the name of a model, like let's click on Olama's library, search for our newest. I see Llama 3.2 is still at 1B and 3B. I was hoping 11B would be there soon. Mini CPM. So if I grab this, okay. If I download that. Ah, so this is really nice. A lot of different tools will just start downloading, but then how far has it gotten? You don't really know. But this is nice in that it shows me that I am 2% of the way. I am 3% of the way and so forth. I don't know if I can get rid of that. Looks like I'm kind of stuck with that. That's fine. I can change the language from English to Spanish to Japanese and Turkish. And then we can go to the message of today. Ah, good. I can change the view I'm on, but I still see that um, whatever I pulled, I've already forgotten, mini CPM V uh, is still pulling. What else is new and interesting? Um, editable, mess editable messages in sessions. Interesting. So let's go back here. See how I edit those messages and redo, and I can edit the prompt. I don't have a way of editing the output. Sometimes in some other uh, UIs, editing the output is actually useful, but maybe it's just not useful in this case. Um, I'm not sure what the point of this session number is. I can click it, nothing seems to happen. So I don't know what that means. Uh, for some people, they will appreciate the fact that there's a dark mode. I hate that. So I'm gonna go back to something that's easier on your eyes, uh, light mode, especially for most times of the day. And I'm sure I'm gonna get a few crazy people that think, ah, oh, dark mode, blah, 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 whatever. I don't want to hear it. Uh, let's see. I think that's about it. I think that's pretty much all there is to this uh, UI. It's nice, simple, to the point, nothing extra, not, no extra fluff. It's just really cool. One thing that people are often concerned about is the license. So this is just like Olama MIT license. Uh, some people like that. Some people don't like that but that's where it is. I think people have a hard time with MIT because some open source product was on MIT and they switched it to something more restrictive later on. And so they assume that all companies are, or all entities are gonna do that. Anyway, that is Holama. I think it's an interesting uh, project, interesting, simple UI, no, no extra fluff in there. It's just asking a model a question and getting the output. So pretty neat stuff. Thought you might enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching this quick look and uh, I'll see you next time. Uh, and I'll look at something else on the list and uh, do my review of it and we'll be done. All right, thanks so much for watching. Bye.